What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the latest Liverpool transfer news video and I'm still absolutely bossing after Liverpool beat gang 4-1 last night and all four goals were beautiful but we are here today to discuss among other things Jadon Sancho and him being backed to, to be signed by Liverpool next summer also there is a big update on the court proceedings between Nike New Balance and Liverpool about the Nike new kit deal and many other Liverpool transfer news and Liverpool fitness news so stay tuned there because this will be a very interesting video with a lot of new information so Liverpool are heavily linked and heavily interested in Jadon Han Sancho who even Jurgen Klopp himself described as one of the most talented young players and we wanted Liverpool wanted to sign Jadon Sancho from Manchester City even before he went to Dortmund so Jurgen Klopp is a long time admirer of Jadon Sancho what do you think about him guys do you think that he's worth 80 90 million pounds the transfer fee that is being mooted if he is uh, sold by Dortmund and let me know would he be a good fit for Liverpool and would could I could we fit him in into the Liverpool um, starting 11 I think it would be difficult for to get him to start ahead of Salah and Mane but look at Manchester City look at the squad they have they have Mares they have Bernardo Silva sometimes on the bench Leroy Sané is not even fit and Liverpool need to build a squad like that where we have two world-class players in each position and this is what Dietmar Hamann the Liverpool legend from Liverpool player who claims that um, Liverpool are um, going for Jadon Sancho next summer Jadon Sancho 2020 is a popular um, saying among Liverpool fans and this is what uh, Dietmar Hamann said what I hear is that Liverpool has great interest in Jadon Sancho I, I would imagine that next summer they could become one of the biggest interested parties so Dietmar Hamann still has very close links to Liverpool he still has some friends at the club and I'm sure that he, know, he knows some inside information that we don't and this is what he said Jadon Sancho is from Manchester City and I do not know if he would come back again and it's a thing for Manchester United too if they have ever been to the rivals Jadon Sancho is under contract at Dortmund until 2022 Jadon Sancho already scored 18 times and provided 30 assists in total in just 66 games he contributed to 48 goals that's absolutely incredible when you take into consideration how young Jadon Sancho is he's just 19 years old he's still a teenager and he could cost upwards of maybe 90 or even a hundred million pounds but Haman admitted that um, any big big monster fee would maybe put Liverpool off this is what uh, Haman said the Jadon Sancho does not have a release clause if Dortmund say that they want an astronomical amount it will not happen from Liverpool there are currently few players that could re reinforce Liverpool's offensive lineup I don't know if Sancho is a, such a player but maybe if there's one going away from those three then Sancho would be predestined for this offensive alliance I don't think Liverpool would sell any of the front three any of Salah, Mane or, or Firmino of course Mane and Salah have been linked with Real Madrid and other clubs uh, recently but those are just uh, newspaper articles uh, saying that uh, of course Real Madrid and Barcelona would be interested in uh, some of the best attacking players in the world at the moment I don't think Salah and Mane would want to leave Liverpool but let's say in a hypothetical scenario if Liverpool win the Premier League again if Liverpool win the Champions League again would maybe Salah think that his mission is accomplished at Liverpool and would he try and sign for Real Madrid I'm not really sure we don't know exactly what Salah is thinking what is inside his head but I don't think we should uh, prepare for that scenario what we should prepare for is uh, to try and get Jadon Sancho on top of uh, the already incredible attacking talent that Liverpool have because honestly if Liverpool would sign Jadon Sancho we would be an almost an unstoppable force and even with a significant injury to one of our front players 
we would be uh, we would be sorted with Jadon Sancho. If Mane or Salah picks up an injury now, Liverpool fans can be worried because Origi and Shakiri, who is not even fit, he's out injured. I heard that he travelled to Basel, to his home country, to to get some treatment on his latest uh, injury. So if either Mane or Salah get injured, Liverpool are a less effective team. They are a less uh, potent uh, strike force. So if we sign Jadon Sancho, I think we would be much more comfortable with our options in the squad. And German football expert uh, Kevin Hutchard has spoken out on uh, Jadon Sancho and his potential links to Liverpool. This is what he said. So if the money was right and Sancho was willing to come back to the Premier League, I would expect Liverpool to be in that market up for Jadon Sancho. The tricky thing is going to be how do you convince him that he would have a genuine chance of being in the Liverpool lineup? Because Mo Salah operates in the position that Jadon Sancho does. Sancho is very much on the right uh, side of the front three, so that would be a big decision for him to make. This is the tricky thing for Liverpool, because that front three is so clearly identified and defined and so consistent, so durable. They have missed so few games between them. How do you then convince a top, top player like Jadon Sancho that you have got a chance of being involved? That's maybe where Jurgen Klopp comes in with his ability to talk players around and persuade players that that's the move for them. Financially, I think Liverpool could be in the mix for him. It will be interesting to see if that's a move that Liverpool will pursue. My only worry for Liverpool is a, a significant injury to Firmino, Mane or Salah because we don't have a um, replacement on the same level as those players, those players. On the other hand, Manchester City have Aguero, Gabriel Jesus, Raheem Sterling, Gloria Sane, Riyad Mahrez and Bernardo Silva. Six world-class forward players for three positions. I, I even would say that, that Bernardo Silva and Mahrez are world-class forwards. Uh, because if, I mean, Mahrez would be a starter for almost any team in the world. Apart from maybe the top five football clubs in the world right now. And he would easily comfortably bang in 20-25 goals a season and he is now a backup player at Manchester City. It's just crazy how much strength in depth Manchester City have and that's what Liverpool are up against. And that's why many people are still saying the title race is not over. Manchester City can still come back and uh, overtake Liverpool because if Liverpool suffer injury, loss of form or whatever to our front line we rely on our uh, front three so, so heavily for goals that it will be very difficult for, for Liverpool to replace them uh, and replace their goals if one of them gets injured. But the, uh, I think that if there is a manager in world football who would convince Jadon Sancho, who would be able to convince Jadon Sancho to come to Liverpool, that's Jurgen Klopp 100%. I think Jadon Sancho has unfinished business in the Premier League. I think he went to the Bundesliga to play regularly, to develop his game, but one day he wants to come back to the Premier League and show the Premier League and show the England what kind of incredible player he has become. So I think that it would be perfect for him to play for Liverpool. Of course, Jurgen Klopp would need to convince him to actually come to Liverpool and to convince him that he will play many many games uh, alongside uh, Firmino, Mane and Salah and we could even adopt a 4-2-3-1 formation against some of the lesser sides. For example last night against a team like Genk Liverpool could have played with uh, Fabinho and uh, Wijnaldum or Fabinho and Henderson as two defensive midfielders and we could have played with Sancho on the right, Salah up front, Firmino behind, Salah as a kind of a number 10 and Mane on the left. And because both Salah and Mane can play up front. So I don't think there should, would be a big problem uh, implementing this lineup against maybe the bottom 10 sides in the Premier League, in some of the cup games, in some of the lesser Champions League games. And I think Liverpool will go far in all the competitions that we are involved in. So Jadon Sancho would have a lot of opportunities to play, in my opinion. And of course, sooner or later, either Mane or Salah probably will leave Liverpool maybe not next year but in two or three years 
maybe one of them will leave and then Jaden Sancho would be our main attacker on the right hand side so this is good this is going to be very interesting how this transfer story develops what is also important is that Jaden Sancho had some disciplinary issues recently he was actually dropped and disciplined because of uh, coming back late from the international break and he didn't play on the weekend when Borussia Dortmund beat Borussia Mönchengladbach 1-0 Jaden Sancho was not in the squad because he turned up late after the international uh, break but then he was back for the Champions League game even though Dortmund lost uh, quite comfortably 2-0 to Inter Milan. Borussia Dortmund and Jurgen Klopp still have a lot of links between them so if there is one person who would be you know who would have straight lines, phone lines to Borussia Dortmund, it's Jürgen Klopp and Zorts, their uh, chief executive, this is what he said about Jadon Sancho. No decision has been made on the Jadon Sancho transfer yet, but you do not have to be a prophet to say that Jadon Sancho will certainly not be here for another five years. He knows very well that he has undergone this positive development at Borussia Dortmund. I doubt that it would have been possible at a top English club. We trust the players early and we are not afraid of playing them early. And he knows that, he acknowledges that. And I think if Jadon Sancho doesn't leave Dortmund next summer, he will 100% leave in two years. Jadon Sancho is worth a lot of money and Dortmund will not risk losing him for for nothing in three years time in 2022 in the summer of 2022 i don't think they will they will let that happen liverpool and new balance have been in court for three days now with nike hoping to become liverpool's new kit supplier from next season and the New Balance representative, Mr. Oatkirk, has claimed that they are able to match Nike every bit of the way by stating that they are capable of selling 2.9 million units uh, that Nike aimed to sell in half the amount of stores, which is a big claim and the judge questions whether this suggestion was made in good faith to Liverpool FC and even though, uh, you know, the this representative claims that they are capable of matching Nike. Um, Mr. Morpus, representing Liverpool FC, disagreed by saying that New Balance have acted recklessly in the extreme. This guy went on to say, to state that New Balance have suggested that they have put products through 4,000, 40,000 doors and claims that 36,000 of those are wholesalers, but they simply can't wave their hands and get Liverpool merchandise through into these shops. Mr. Bopus actually goes on to suggest that New Balance hadn't met their door count in early years, suggesting they have acted in poor faith for some time now. And the Nike representative suggested that LeBron James, Drake and Serena Williams' influence as per a Nike should have no impact on the decision making as their ability to push products is subjective. There was laughter in the court when, uh, when Morpus questioned which tennis player would have a larger influence than Sarah or Williams and he stated that if New Balance could give an example then they could debate it but they failed to do so. Uh, oh wow, so there has been some really strong words exchanged in the in the courts uh, in recent days about this. And also Oatkirk suggested that New Balance would be able to approach celebrities and athletes to work with uh, uh, and on campaigns and Nike aren't likely to have promised anyone yet because talents could sign with other brands before campaigns could begin. But uh, Mr. Oakirk uh, continued by saying that the only remedy to, si to the situation is Liverpool living up to their contract. Damages won't be adequate. The club hasn't expressed any dissatisfaction to New Balance's distribution before now. Either way, to be on the safe side, Oakirk confirmed that Liverpool and New Balance have agreed to work together for the next uh, six, six months. Uh, it's a, this is a very delicate situation and I don't think that Liverpool wants to really piss off New Balance because we are still partners with them. 
and uh, I think Liverpool need them for the next six, six months to generate as much pro profit as possible. But also Liverpool know that Nike balance have, uh, have a, a limited reach. On the other hand, Nike is a truly global brand and especially in Asia, they have a much bigger presence than New Balance. A lot more stores in a lot more countries, so wider reach. And also they have uh, bigger brand ambassadors like the, uh, LeBron James, uh, like Drake, like uh, Serena Williams and other, other people. Uh, Jaden Sancho, for example, is also a Nike representative. So I, I really hope that this uh, reaches a, um, a satisfactory conclusion for Liverpool. I just want what's best for the football club and I wanted to update you guys on this. And uh, another transfer news is that AC Milan and Lazio are interested in a Liverpool midfielder Adam Lallana who was back with a bang scoring on the weekend against Manchester United and according to some um, Italian newspapers uh, um, Lucas Leiva has put in some good words at Lazio to actually uh, s um, help the club uh, go for Lallana because Leiva thinks that Lallana would be a very good fit to the Serie A, for the Serie A, and I, I kind of agree with it. I think Lalana should still stay at Liverpool with, for one more year, but after that, I think the Serie A would suit Lalana perfectly because it's a lot more slower and a lot more tactical league, and Lalana maybe doesn't have the fitness and the physical strength to compete at the highest level in the Premier League week in, week out. But in the Serie A, he could still play for three or four good years at the very top. And that is either for AC Milan or Lazio. I don't think a club like Juventus or Inter would be interested in Lalana. He's maybe a level below those clubs, but AC Milan and Lazio are definitely, you know, trying to get into the last Champions League spot uh, or maybe qualifying for the Europa League and Lalana would be a good fit for those kind of clubs. So let me know what do you think about this in the comments below and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later guys. Goodbye.